This is East Asia Tonight. Good evening, I'm Oteli Edwards. Tonight's top stories from East Asia. Time ticking down for TikTok in the US. Legislation to ban or force the sale of the app has been fast-tracked to the House this weekend, bundled with funding bills for Taiwan, Israel and Ukraine. The top Taiwanese chipmaker TSMC reports a first quarter profit surge of 9%, beating market expectations, and that's thanks to a boom in AI chip demand. The US envoy to the United Nations vows support for Japan until all its abducted citizens return from North Korea, putting an end to decades of separation. And China and Indonesia's top diplomats meet in Jakarta, solidifying economic ties and regional stability, plus a joint call to the US to back a UN resolution for a Gaza ceasefire. Also ahead tonight, Hong Kong is making significant efforts to attract A-list celebrities such as Cristiano Ronaldo to bolster its tourism reputation. But just how impactful are these endeavours? And no bullets, no bloodshed, but the semiconductor manufacturing war in East Asia is fierce. We delve into the showdown between the region's chip-making giants. Well, the push to crack down on TikTok has gained momentum in the U.S., with Congress on a fast track to approve a bill aimed at forcing a Chinese parent, ByteDance, to divest its ownership stake in the app or face a ban. Well, the TikTok divestiture legislation has now been tied to a sweeping package of aid for Taiwan, Israel and Ukraine that the chamber set to clear on Saturday. The measure, if approved by the House of Representatives, is expected to be quickly passed by the Senate and then signed into law by President Joe Biden. Bike Dance would then have to sell TikTok within six months of the bill's enactment or be banned. TikTok has called it unfortunate that the U.S. is using the cover of foreign and humanitarian assistance to jam through a banned bill.